The time is now to architect a life of excellence. What will we do? Who will we become? We decide today. This is Learn, Do, Become Radio with April and Eric Perry. Let's move onward and upward together. Hi, and welcome to Learn, Do, Become Radio. I'm April Perry, and today we're talking about five of my very favorite Gmail tools that I honestly believe will help your email experience to make you almost giddy on a daily basis, which I know sounds a little silly, but we're going to have some fun today. Also, if you're listening to this right when it is published, we are doing a special holiday planning workshop here at Learn Do Become to help you to get all of the details done and in order early so you can enjoy your family and enjoy the season and have some time to actually reflect on 2018 and get ready for 2019. So go sign up at learndobecome.com forward slash holiday and we'll send you all the information. Really, really exciting and we can't wait for you to participate. So today we're talking about Gmail tools and I know not everybody uses Gmail, but I hope that as I share a few of these tools, you will either start thinking about ways you can use your email system more effectively Or if you're looking for a new email, you may consider changing over to Gmail. This is a lot of fun because I want you to feel like a clean, well-ordered inbox can be your reality every single day. And really, the whole goal of productivity and organization is not just to get a lot of things done. It's to actually have the bandwidth to enjoy your life and to be able to relax and breathe and be able to have progress in the areas that matter most to you. So let's go ahead and jump right in and I will share five of my very favorite email tools. The first one is called Write Inbox. I adore this plugin because it allows me to either send an email later, it can remind me of an email, I can add a note, or I can set up a recurring email. So I'll start with the send later option because this is my favorite. You can type up an email and then you just click at the bottom, send later, and it can send in one hour, two, four, tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, or you can specify a specific time like Tuesday at 6.15. Now, the reason I love this is because sometimes I'm doing email at a weird time, like on a Saturday night or super early in the morning. And a lot of times I either don't want people to know when I was working on my email Or I don't want my email to land in their inbox at a strange time. I'll give you an example. I needed to send an email to three of my son's teachers in high school. I was doing my email on a Saturday night. And I didn't want the email to end up in his teacher's inboxes on Saturday night because I don't know how many other emails they're going to be getting on Sunday or early Monday morning before they might have a time to check. So I scheduled my email, I did send later using write inbox, and I had it set to send, I think it was something like 6.30 on Monday morning. So when the teachers got into school, it would be at the top of their inbox or at least pretty close. That way it wasn't buried by 50 additional emails and I was able to get a very quick response. It was easy for me and it was easy for the teachers. And I use this literally all the time because it helps me make sure my emails are landing at the appropriate time for people depending on the projects and things that we're working on. It also has an option to remind me and you can say, hey, have this pop up again in one hour, two hour, four hours, or at a specified time. A lot of people use Boomerang, which I've heard before that does have a cost to it. And I don't use Boomerang right now, right in box. The version I use is free and I really like that. You can also add a note to your email I don't actually use this one yet, but I can see it could be valuable. Let's say you're sending an email or you have an email that you're sending to yourself and you want to include a little note with it. Some good possibilities there. And then there's another one I have not yet used, but it gives you the opportunity to send a recurring email. So I see this kind of like emailing yourself, for example, if you want to send yourself certain reminders. Or let's say you're in charge of a group and you have an event once a week on a Wednesday and you want to send a reminder email to all of them every Wednesday, an hour before, you could set it up as a recurring email that can just take care of that for you so you don't actually have to go in and send the reminder. This could be awesome. Let's say you're working with clients and you want to send a specific follow-up on a certain day. 
you can get everything batched in advance so that you are not missing any deadlines, maybe if you're traveling or something like that. And what happens is when you write the draft of the email and you click send later and you schedule it, it goes into your drafts folder and it just waits for that time and then it sends it. But really, it is fantastic. So that's called Write Inbox, R-I-G-H-T, Inbox. All right, number two is called Inbox When Ready. Now, this lets me hide my inbox. There used to be an inbox pause, but it doesn't work well with Unroll.me, which is something I'll share in a minute. So I don't use Inbox Pause anymore, but I do use Inbox When Ready. This only works with Google Chrome, but there's just a little link at the very top of my email. I'm just looking at it as I'm here recording and I just click hide inbox and then the whole inbox just goes away. All of the emails that are there either at the top or at the bottom with my multiple inboxes, which I will also share in a minute. So I can just see the picture that I have at the back of my Gmail account. This enables me to compose emails, to search emails, and to keep my email browser open but the inbox is hidden so it doesn't distract me because even while I was recording this podcast, I saw an email pop up that was this emergency I had to go take care of and it really wasn't an emergency. (laughs) I could have just ignored it, but because it came to me, I thought it was an emergency and I got distracted. So really, I love the option of being able to hide my inbox and then show my inbox. Now, I'm not using the paid version right now of Inbox When Ready, So when I do compose an email, it puts a little footer that says, I'm using inbox when ready to protect my focus. And you can put a little X, you know, click the X and make that disappear. But every time you make it disappear, maybe 20 or 30 times that you click it, it'll say, hey, upgrade so you can remove this footer permanently. I haven't upgraded yet, but I might. So inbox when ready, great option to basically pause your inbox and clear it out so you don't have to see it, don't have to look at it. The next tool is Gmail's app for smartphones. Now, originally I had recorded a whole segment about Gmail's inbox app, which I've loved for many years, but they are discontinuing that because they have put most of the features that I've loved about that one into their Gmail app, which makes sense. They're trying to make sure that they're focusing. And so I recommend using Gmail's app on your phone instead of the mail one that might just come natively with your phone. Here's why. First of all, it's quick to load. When you go open up your Gmail, you don't have to sit and wait for it to just refresh, and typically that takes a long time. So I love how quick it is. Also, they include the photos of the people who are sending the emails if those photos are synced with their Gmail account. So it gives a little bit more color and it's fun to be able to see your friends' photos pop up in your email. Next, it's very easy to star something to quickly delete it, to mark as unread. Sometimes in other mail apps, you have to do two or three clicks to be able to make that happen. In Gmail's app, it's very quick. So it's just one little tap and there you go. Also, you can use that snooze feature. Now, a lot of people have liked using things like Boomerang in order to say, oh, bring this back to me at another time. I do recommend that you process your emails instead of just always having them boomerang because all you're doing is creating a whirlwind of email. But occasionally, if an email needs to pop back up in your inbox, let's say two weeks from today because you want to make sure somebody has responded or something like that, the snooze feature is great. It saves you from having to do a calendar trigger or something else. So the snooze feature I love. And when you get to the very end of your inbox and you've processed everything, they have a nice little message saying you're all done and it shows a picture of someone relaxing. (laughs) So that feels good too. So hopefully you can try that out and find as much joy using the Gmail app as we felt before using Gmail's inbox app. All right, next one is called unroll.me. And this is not just for Gmail. It works with Yahoo or you know, Hotmail, I believe, multiple AOL. I think you can use this with Microsoft Outlook as well. Unroll.me is wonderful because all of the emails that I get from people I want to follow or businesses that I'm following, but I don't want to get an email every three minutes, <laughs> I use unroll.me to help me manage those. So every day I get one email called my daily roll-up. 
and maybe it has five emails and maybe it has 30 emails, but I just open that one email and I can skim through and see a thumbnail that shows who emailed me and what the subject line was and the first line of their email. So that way I can just go scroll through and I do look through it every day. I just do one quick scroll. And then if there's any of those emails that I want to read fully, I just click on them and that opens it in the browser. Gives me a chance to read the whole thing and see if it's something that I want to click on. But it is awesome. And if you don't want to wait until your rollup comes, you can go to a folder it creates. And I have an unroll.me folder. It just naturally creates and puts that together. So I can just go in there in the middle of the day if I needed something, but really I never do or rarely do. Unroll.me is awesome. It is ad supported. So you'll see little ads in there for a mattress or whatever that they're selling. But I'm happy to look at their ads because I love being able to use this service. Now in our emails to zero free tutorial that we have, we actually walk through how unroll.me works, how you set it up, all of that. And so we'll link to that on our show notes page, or you can just, if you want to go right now to it, it's learn to become.com forward slash inbox dash zero, Z-E-R-O. Okay, and then the fifth one, it's just multiple inboxes. Now, if you go into Gmail and you click settings and you go to labs, they have their Gmail labs, multiple inboxes is an option in there and you can just click enable. That will let you use that on your Gmail um, page. Now, this does not work with inbox by Gmail on your computer which is why one of the main reasons why I don't use inbox by Gmail on my computer. That's why I just use it on my phone. But it lets me have a computer screen that has my inbox at the top. And then it has another inbox below that where I use a label immediate action. That's all described in our emails to zero resource as well. So if you already have that, Go check it out. We show you exactly how to set it up, where to click, how to label things, because you might get confused when you first set it up. It puts random starred things on your page and it moves the settings geared way down to the bottom. It's hard to find. Gmail, at, at least when I'm recording this, it kind of messes it up when you first set it up. But I'll show you how to do it in our free emails to zero resource. But I love this because it lets me know which emails are processed and which emails need my attention. Now, it's been a really busy week. We've had a lot going on right now in our family. So when I go into my email right now, just as I've been recording this, I received three emails in my inbox. And then I have like 28 emails that need my attention because I get all of them. My And that's the 28 emails that need my attention are in my second inbox, my immediate action inbox that's below my general inbox. So what's awesome is I can open up my email and know, okay, I have three unprocessed emails. I have 28 emails that I've read that are waiting for me, which is usually way more. I usually try to keep that like under 10. It's just been a crazy week and a lot's been coming in. So my job for today, after I'm done recording this podcast, is to go through and clear all 28 emails that are in my immediate action inbox and I'll process those three emails that just came into my regular inbox. Then you just follow the rules like, hey, two minute rule, if I can handle it in two minutes or less, I go ahead and just handle it. Otherwise, if it needs more than two minutes, but it doesn't need to go onto a project list or somewhere else in my step system, then I go ahead and I just put it into immediate action. That works beautifully. So, okay, <laughs> I hope that this is really exciting to you. I know a lot of people will say, oh, I don't really worry about my email. But then if you watch people during the day, they're spending a lot of time looking for an email, replying to email, trying to figure out what they need to do next, using their email as a to-do list, searching through thousands of things, missing deadlines, feeling stressed. That's what I'm watching people do every single day. So what I want to encourage you to do is get your email inbox tightened up, streamlined, organized, so it feels so good because when you can just go and open your email, check out the things that you need, reply quickly, put things where they need to go. And when you can get that to zero once a week, you're going to rest better. You're going to get the things done that you need to get done. You're not going to be sitting on your phone scrolling through emails. You're not going to be watching things refresh. You're not going to be opening up random emails that could have been rolled up in one daily batch. You're going to spend your time better because what I want is less time sitting there looking at our phones and more time 
doing what we're meant to do. Loving our families, living our purpose, building our businesses, helping our neighbors. There's so much good that we can do. And if you could even take 50% of the time you're currently spending just swirling around in your email inbox and put that towards achieving your goals, you're going to be excited about your life. You're going to have this little lift and this this uh, new energy that's going to come to you. And I, I know it sounds weird. You're thinking, seriously, I'm just going to get my email inbox to zero and I feel so happy. It is going to give you a lift every single day. And then when you have hard stuff that's going on with maybe your spouse or maybe your children, or maybe you're stressed about something going on and you feel like, oh, I just don't even have the energy to deal with it. You're going to see, you know what? I have one area of my life, my email inbox, that's clear and clean and organized and manageable. What if I now did that with my laundry? And now what if I did that with the systems in my business? And then what if I did that with our meal planning? And then you start to see that you actually have more control over the chaos than perhaps you thought before. I am so grateful for the chance to be able to serve you here at Learn Do Become. We have a team retreat we're getting ready to attend. I'm recording this in advance. I'm trying to get ahead of the game here and create better systems. I'm so excited for our team retreat. And we're talking about a new membership that Eric and I are going to be starting soon. So excited about that, which I believe it's going to be called Arise. I've been planning this for years. I have all these little notes in my Evernote. Can't wait for that. So there's a lot of fun that's coming to Learn Do Become. We're grateful to have you as part of our community. Plus, we have our fun holiday workshop we're doing where we're just going to walk through really simple things you can do to make the season so doable and make the logistics so organized that you're going to feel like you just got 100 more hours added to your month. And that's exciting. So to sign up for the holiday workshop, you can go to learndobecome.com forward slash holiday. If you're thinking, wait, remember that emails to zero thing you were talking about? How do I do that? Just go to learndobecome.com forward slash inbox hyphen zero, Z-E-R-O. Or if you're already on our list and you're getting our emails, we'll let you know more about our fun holiday workshop and all the great stuff coming up soon. Please share this with your friends if you think this would be helpful to them. Coworkers, I tell you, when everybody is on this email organization kick, <laughs> it's going to be awesome. And then you're going to be able to get really timely responses. You're going to be responding well. People will be working more effectively, and it's just going to feel great. Okay, have a great day. Thanks so much for being with us here at learndobecome.com.